Wonderwall and uh, Ryan Lake Bowl and our first contestant, and this is, and believe me, it's totally an accident. What is your name? Brent Prentice. And what business are you in? I own a bowling center. He owns a bowling center. And this is not, this is no guy. Give me the name, we got what plugs are allowed. Cedarville Lanes in Eagan, Minnesota. And how many years have you owned it? Since 1996, actually. You look awfully young to be owning a bowling alley, so that's uh, good for you. You're a you're a, you're a good entrepreneur. Don't don't talk about feeling old. You're gonna hurt my feelings, all right? All right, now give me the name again. Uh, Brent Prentice. Brent Prentice. Brent Prentice. You're up, and if uh, the bottom line is here, if you get a couple of strikes, you win some tickets to the comedy sports club. So here we go. He's asked if the lanes are oiled. I'm not sure. I, if they are, I sure as heck didn't do it. Okay, here comes Brent now. He needs two strikes. Okay, he kind of lost it there. That ball really oh, yeah. well, a little tough luck there. But he said they're not oil. You know what? I, as soon as that ball took off, I figured that one out myself. Okay, well, his ball. And by the way, he, this is not his bowling ball. He has rental shoes. He was just shocked that we, you know, randomly picked his name. Now he has a chance. He has a chance to get his spare. His work's cut out. He's got a nail nine of it. And uh, boy, that. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, he gave it a good try. You know, before you leave, let's see. Yeah, they, uh, they're spotting him already. Okay. Well, we're all okay. Now we'll, we'll you will get something here. So just we'll have a seat over there, and we'll get our next contestant in there. And our next gentleman, ready to go. I believe we have a gentleman coming up in his 90s. 90s? Hi, how you doing? So well, what's your name? Vic Morhoff. Yeah. Oh. Vic, where do you live? Uh, Maplewood, Minnesota. Maplewood? And uh, you're retired, I take it? Where did you work? I worked for three years. Incidentally, I'm one of the founding fathers of magnetic recording tape. You are. You're one of the founding members of the Magnetic Recording Tape. Well, I started there in 1947 when I got out of the service and, and uh, went to work at 3M and got into their lab.